I've been driving around these storms for about an hour, but there's no way I'm getting around this one. I'm going to have to end up going through it, so I'm going to switch out to my insulated gloves and put my ride pants on. through that storm now and uh, it looks like it's gonna clear up but it's just incredible riding out here so I went west out of Arnold and I'm headed towards um, Arthur but take just take a look at this and the camera will absolutely not do it justice for how big this all feels while you're actually here That, that big storm cell is sweeping through there. It's headed northeast. I'm still going west before I head north and then head back east towards uh, towards Iowa. But, oh, this is just incredible. Home, home on the range Where the deer and the antelope play Where seldom is heard a discouraging word except from this nerd I've been swearing at the sky all day so there's not exactly a lot of options for rest areas and you know, that kind of stuff around here so I just pulled over and there's little chunks of leftover road or whatever like this in a lot of places in Nebraska. A little abandoned house over there. I'm not even going to try to get back there. That's a really well maintained fence and I don't want to rip holes in my stuff and if someone's taking that much care of the fence they don't want you in there either. So. But uh, it's like anywhere like 58 to 62 degrees, which doesn't sound that bad until you're going 70 miles an hour and it's just rained and it's humid. Well, I don't know, humid, I don't know. The air's wet and when it's cold and high winds, it, it's kind of miserable right now, but I figured good a spot as any to pull over.
603 miles for the day and I'm finally back home in Iowa where it's warm. I'm just gonna lay on the cement for a while until I can feel my hands and my feet again.